Lindy Milan loves food and wine, and it appeared she'd sampled some of New Zealand's best last night. Sadly, that camera doesn't lie, does it? Sadly, no matter how much touche clay you have on, it will pick it up. Mrs Milan was at Auckland Viaduct's food store, wooing crowds with her cooking and oratory. I went bowling up to the guy and said, I've got something I want to declare. I think it's so fantastic that New Zealand's an island like Australia and we can be protected. And I've got these spices and I want to show them to you. She's one of Aussie's most recognised foodies and she's come to New Zealand to promote her new show, Lindy and Herbie's Movable Feast in which she travels eastern Australia cooking foods directly from farms, following the journey from pasture to plate. And she says Aussie farmers aren't so different to Kiwi ones. Just there's no bullshit in the bush, can I tell you? You know, it's that, and I think that's really what I like. People are really quite direct. Though Country 99 TV thinks that's questionable. His father, who was a ginger farmer, had a ballroom dancing studio on the farm. In fact, quite questionable. We went to a place where the guy talks to his cattle. It's Wagyu cattle. He sits and talks to them. You see his wife with them. They are so, they are so tame. There's such a beautiful relationship between them. And the happy cows make happy meat to cook with. She says she hasn't visited any farms in New Zealand yet, but hasn't ruled out a show here. We did come here on holiday earlier this year and uh, went down to the Hawke's Bay area because I'm very interested in wine again as well. And that was great. And your farmer's market in Hastings, that is fantastic. It's a true farmer's market and it is vast. I would have to say it's one of the best I've ever been to. John Watson, Auckland, Country 99 TV News.